I'm Josh Cripps, and I'm going to show you how asking yourself a few simple questions can dramatically improve your photography. Hey y'all, welcome to Professional Photography Tips. One of the most common questions I get while teaching workshops is, my photos always come out looking like snapshots. How can I take the vision that's in my head and get it to come out in a photo? Well, it turns out the answer to that is already there inside of you, and you can bring it out by asking yourself three simple questions. Whenever you approach a scene, you should consciously ask yourself, what do I like about this scene? In any landscape, there are a million things to look at. And your job as the photographer is to identify those few elements which are most striking to you. That's how your photos begin to take shape. For example, out here in the oak savanna, there's a lot to look at. There's little flowers on the ground, there's great blue sky, table mountain up there, the oaks, the sunlight, this big meadow of grass. But the two things that really catch my eye are the warm sunlight streaming through the trees and the trees themselves. So that's what I'm going to focus my photo on. Notice I didn't say, boy, I really love the blue sky, or I really love this big empty field of grass, or I really love table mountain up there. So that not only gives me an idea of the things that I want to include in my photo, the oaks and the warm sunlight, but also the things that I want to exclude. Maybe the sky, maybe a lot of the grass, maybe Table Mountain. The things that you aren't that passionate about, the things that you come out to a scene and you just don't care that much about, exclude them, minimize them in your photo and kick them completely out if you can. The more that you simplify your images, the more you'll see them gain focus and clarity. And once you've figured out what you like, don't stop there. The next step is to ask yourself exactly what is it about this stuff that you like. For me it's the way the warm sunlight streams through the trees and the way that the oaks form a canopy above my head. And the better you can answer that question, what is it exactly about this stuff I like, the better off you'll be when it comes time to answer the next of our three questions. And now that you've identified the elements you want in your photo and the characteristics about them that you like, you need to ask yourself the question, how can I exaggerate those characteristics? After all, as an artistic photographer, your job is not to represent a scene as faithfully as possible. It's to exaggerate the things that you notice and to show people what you want them to see. Sometimes the way to do that is compositionally. I really love that warm sunlight streaming through the oak leaves. So instead of shooting from here, I might duck around behind the tree. This is where that effect is most pronounced, so I can exaggerate it by shooting from back here. Sometimes it's a technical choice. I really love the warmth of that sunlight, so I might exaggerate it by changing my white balance from daylight to cloudy, or maybe even shady. And sometimes it's done through post-processing. I really love the green of these leaves, so maybe in Photoshop I might saturate those greens and yellow tones. But no matter how you do it, once you begin to exaggerate the characteristics of the elements in your photo, you'll see your own personal artistic vision begin to shine through your images. The final question is here to help you tie everything together and to help you understand the choices you make when creating a photo. You should ask yourself why about every aspect of your photo. Why did I include this element and exclude that one? Well, it's because I like this one and I don't really care about this one. Why did I place this element just here in the frame? Well, I like the rule of thirds and I don't want an important element too close to the edge or too centered. Why did I use a wide angle lens and not a telephoto? Well, it's because I like the depth and sense of being there that a wide angle lens gives. And that goes just as strongly for the technical choices in your photo. Why did I choose this aperture? Was I trying to isolate a subject with a shallow depth of field, or did I want a deep depth of field to let the viewer's eye drift across the entire frame? Why did I choose this particular shutter speed? Was I trying to enhance some motion in the frame somewhere? Was I trying to freeze motion, or did it not even matter at all? Why did I choose this white balance? Was I trying to enhance a cool color scheme or a warm color scheme? Why did I choose this ISO? Was I trying to increase my shutter speed in low light? Was I trying to capture stars? Why, why, why? The more you ask yourself why, the more your photos become a direct extension of your artistic vision. Basically, you're trying to make a caricature of whatever you're shooting. Simplify and exaggerate. 
You simplify by asking what. You exaggerate by asking how. Then you examine every aspect of your photo by asking why. Because in the end, it's those conscious choices you make that take your snapshots and turn them into true art. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out last week's video and don't forget to subscribe for weekly photography tips and techniques. Visit my website joshuacrips.com for workshops, landscape photography, and tutorials. Until next time guys, have fun and happy shooting.